Now, let's move to the effective resistance. An effective resistor is a single resistor which replaces two or more resistors so that they can give the same effect on the circuit by allowing the same amount of current. Now let's look at the concept of effective resistance. This is initially a parallel circuit and I label the two resistors here as A and B. We assume current I passes through these two resistors. So when we combine these two resistors, we should get something like this. A resistor C, which represents the combination of two resistors A and B. This indicates the total resistance across here is the same as the resistance of C, and therefore the current passes through it will still be I. Next, we move to the direction derivation of formula. Before I start this, let's take a look at the paper before this. For this circuit, this series circuit, we can see that potential difference across A and B, we can also say that, I assume there's a point C, point C here and point D here. We can say that the potential difference across these two points is equal to the potential difference of these two points A and C plus C and D and plus D and B. It makes sense right. So, I can say that in series, the potential difference across AB equals to the sum of potential difference across AC, DC, CD, and DB. And since we know that V equals to I times R, and the I, the current, for series will always be constant. Therefore, we can derive it into this formula. I R A B equals to I R A C plus I R C D and plus I R D B. The I here will always be the constant. So, we take out the common factor. I times RAC plus RCD plus RDB. Therefore, we can give a conclusion. RA, um, sorry, we take it as R total equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3 or so on. So, 
This will be the formula to calculate the effective resistance in series. Next, for parallel. Again, let's look at the paper before this. We can see that the current of the whole circuit equals to the current of the I1, I2 plus I3. And it combines back, back to become I again. So, I equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3. And since we know that the potential difference across AB, CD, and EF are the same, therefore, we can say that the potential difference across the whole circuit will always be the constant. Therefore, we derive the formula I equals to V over R equals to V over R1 plus V over R2 plus V over R3. And this one is derived from each of this current. Again, we take out the common factor. V times 1 over R equals to V times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So, let's conclude that 1 over R total equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And this will be the formula for the effective resistance in parallel circuit. Next, I'm going to show you some examples for effective resistance.